Well, it's July 14th, folks, and here we have it. There's no hay on the fields because of the drought. It's all so short, and of course, grasshoppers too. So I thought I'd come into some wild hay and cut that. Because, of course, that wild hay, there's still some moisture and it grows. But it's too soft. I got the tractor bogged down. So there you have it. The tame hay on the fields is no darn good, so you can't get any bales there. And you try and come into the wild hay to get some bales, and then that's too soft. But you can't get that either. This loops around, and then it gets bigger. I wish I could have cut it, because they're... It's making quite a swath, but it is what it is. These lowland meadows take a long time to dry out. Um, sure, it's been really dry now this year, but the last few years we had quite a bit of rain. Our lakes and sloughs are still up, and. Um, it takes these things, once it starts getting dry, it takes a long time for them to dry out. We used to cut this all the time when the water level was down, but there we are. So I called my brother and he's coming with the four-wheel drive Versatile. And we're going to have to get hooked on here and pull this out. And I guess that's the end of cutting and cutting this wild hay. Talk to you later. It's Brother Grant. I think back to the time before cell phones. I would have had to walk out all the way and get help. And kind of nice to have a cell phone with signal. All right. Well, we've got the strap and a cable hooked on. We're going to have to pull it backwards. So I'm going to get this unit started up. And get that all ready just in case this ground's fairly hard but I wanted to get this hooked up before we back the four-wheel drive up because we didn't want it sitting on the soft ground any longer than it has to just in case it starts to sink this way now we can just back up hook it on quick and go well we'll see what happens hopefully we can get this bugger out of here get her unhooked and see if I can get turned around here. It was an easy pull. Well that's it folks. That's the extent of my hay cutting in there. So I guess I'll move over to another tame hay field. Thanks for watching.